Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. I know it's been almost a year since I uploaded a tutorial. What the deuce? Where did the time go for real? Jumping in this tutorial, I'm using the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base. I'm only going to put this in the areas where it needs that smoothing effect. I wouldn't recommend putting it all over the face because one time I did that and it was so uncomfortable underneath the foundation. And some for color correcting, I'm going to use the NW25 in the Studio Finish Concealer by MAC Cosmetics. You can either use a brush with this, like me, or you can even use your fingers. I find that this concealer is very forgiving and very moisturizing. And I just use, I just love this concealer, to be honest. I will always go back to MAC and buy this one because it is so true to my skin color and helps correct those red, uneven, blue undertones in my skin that I use this concealer even on the days when I don't want to wear a lot of makeup and I'm running and doing errands and stuff like that. So this one is my go-to for sure. Also, sorry if you hear a little Quill or Derek in the background. I'm recording and they are running around. For concealer, I'm going to use a LA Girl Pro Conceal in the light yellow corrector and in natural. In the beginning, I'm going to use a yellow concealer and then I will apply the natural on top. Just because I find the light yellow concealer a little bit too light, so I want to deepen it just a little bit, so I'll put that natural concealer on top. So here I'm using the Real Technique sponge. A little story, I used to use the Beauty Blender um, all the time but when Kobe was a puppy he used to bite up and chew and I went through like three or four of those beauty blenders and now that he's older he doesn't ever go after my sponges or makeup but like you know how expensive those beauty blenders are right so compared to the real technique sponge they're just as good as a beauty blender or even better it depends on who you talk to right but like super affordable. Um, I just love this sponge. The only thing is like I know my nails are so long they dig into the sponge sometimes you're in it but what do you expect we're bougie. Now that I look super light it's time to put more color back into my skin. Let's make me look like that snatched indigenous Barbie again with the NC30 Studio Fix Fluid by MAC Cosmetics. foundation on my face on my neck and my chest I'm going to re-highlight some areas that I've lost that highlight after using the foundation and usually I don't even bring the foundation that high up on the cheekbone but since I'm such a rookie and it's been a year and it's been a minute filming you know what I thought I'd include this step for you guys To set my concealer and foundation, I'm going to use a Ben Nye Colorless Powder. And I don't really bake under my eyes. The only areas I bake is basically underneath my cheek area. Um, I just find like it's too harsh to bake under the eyes. Like for me, I don't need that. You know what I mean? With the powder situation, you 
do you baby girl this is I I'm just doing myself so shout out to Ojibwe cosmetics they always hooking me up with bomb products so check out this palette on their website I'll link everything down in the description bar um, I'm going to build up this color then blend it out and then apply another little coat of shadow and blend that out low-key probably didn't know but true makeup artists actually apply shadows like two or three times depending how the deposit went of like how true that shadow came through you know what I mean so I'm just letting you guys in on a few tips to the second shadow from the same palette I'm going to build this color up in the crease just to deepen it I'm going to elongate the eyeshadow out and bring it in to the crease into the inner eye part and now it's time to cut the crease like cut it cut it cut it okay I'm a dark but anyways let's cut the crease I'm using that yellow pro LA girl yellow concealer I'm going to use this really light white shadow from the same palette but I'm also going to go in with the Kat Von D shade and light palette I'm going to use that white shadow just to brighten up that area a little bit more here I'm using the same brown shadow um, the first one that I use and I'm going to blend in to the center of my eyeball white shadow from the Kat Von D shade and light palette I'm just going to line up that area all right time for some liquid liner use whatever black matte liner you have any liquid liner you have I forgot to include a clip because I'm such a rookie and it's been a year since I've been filming I'm using a water activated liner um, I'll leave all the info down in the description bar. You know this. Using my Krylon Water Activated Paint, I am going to use the two neon colors, the yellow one and the green one. Mix them up, make a perfect neon little vibe color. Um, I got this one at a special effects store downtown on Gerard Street, but I believe you can just go on their website and purchase it. Really take your time with this part. Um, you know really light strokes in the beginning and then go in with the second little fill to deepen the color but really just take your time breathe don't forget to breathe I believe in you you can do it if I can do it yo you can do it
say I love this palette and I use it all the time, I really do. Um, I'm using this shadow, the same shadow I used in my crease, the first shadow. I'm using it to bronze up my face. So on the cheeks, my forehead, and underneath the chin just to snatch that face up. Since you're using this color already, don't forget to use it for your bottom lash line and put mascara on there because my camera died and I didn't include that clip so don't forget that part. So I'm going to include the info for my lashes down in the description bar. I threw out the box. Um, before filming this I actually didn't even know I was gonna film it so I'm reusing these ones if you didn't know you could reuse your lashes and I got these ones at winners for like four dollars I think they're called Cara or Cara C-A-R-A and I'm going to use this Sonia Kushik blush I'll leave the name for it down in the description bar also In this tutorial, I'm using a bunch of Morphe brushes and a few MAC brushes. I actually love Morphe brushes. They give me MAC vibes, but not having to pay that price, you know what I mean? Um, I bought a bunch of like a brush bundle from Morphe and I'll leave all that info down below. All right, time for some lips and I'm going to be using stripped down by MAC Cosmetic. I'm using two different liners and the other one is Mare. I'm going to use that one just like in the middle and to deepen up the top liner part and I'm going to use the Aaliyah collaboration with MAC Cosmetics lip gloss. I love this lip gloss. If you haven't tried any of their lip glosses from MAC Cosmetics, I would recommend it. So after applying some lip gloss, I'm going to complete the look with using the highlight palette from Cheekbone Cosmetics. They are another indigenous cosmetics line that I love using. I hope you guys enjoy this little neon vibe. I love how it's like brown neutral but has that pop of color and those are the vibes for today in this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and here's a little clip. love me my boys this tutorial don't forget to like share subscribe and be safe everyone Mwah.